hit him? Yep. Just behind the shoulder, I think. So I just had a tong up at a, a mob of fellow. Um, they were mainly up there. They shot a decent buck, and the others shot um, some hinds and yearlings and a younger buck. And I'm just waiting here and guiding them in so we don't lose them. It's been a pretty cold, average morning, but it's just the sun's just starting to push through. My buck where he landed, dug himself in. Oh, he's had a tough rut, he's all broken up. Lost a brow tine and a tray. A cool little, a little stag anyway. Getting a bit thicker, are they, Chris? Yeah. Can't cook them fast enough. <laughs> <laughs> Selling like hotcakes. Secret blend of herbs and spices. <laughs> Grandma's secret <laughs> recipe. Guys, off to the lower end of the greenstone. Seen a couple of deer. Tony getting ready to. He's just crossed the river and uh, hoping to get on to a deer that we've just spotted uh, five, ten minutes ago up in that top part of the clearing so doesn't look like he's still there and must have moved off into the bush but it's proven to be another beautiful day in the green zone. there he goes into the bush line trees, up to that clearing hopefully, down there, our stag still there, hard to make out though. So, that was that, I'm going to say there's two. two of them, you're right, there's two, there's three. Got him. Did he? 